Today we are going to talk about Stellar Crown versus Surging Sparks. And the reason for that is I've been seeing a lot in the comment section, a lot on the Discord server, uh, people saying that they are skipping Stellar Crown and going straight for Surging Sparks. Now, I totally understand that logic, and I don't blame anybody for doing that if that's what you want to do, or if you just want to wait for the Team Rocket set that we haven't seen anything about, go ahead. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I just want to give you guys a few points and maybe a few different ways to look at some stuff as to, you know, maybe that might not be the best idea. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys agree or disagree. But we will start off, I just want to go over a few things, lay the groundwork for Stellar Crown. Stellar Crown is a smaller set. We have seen the whole set, okay? We haven't seen Surging yet. So we, we don't really know what's in it. We know some of what's in it, but we don't know. So that, okay, that's one thing. But if we take a look at Stellar Crown here, these are the Japanese cards. Uh, obviously, we're getting the English version, but what we're getting, so these are the IRs. It's a smaller set. The Bulbasaur, the Squirtle are looking like potentially really great IRs. Then I, after that, you kind of go down to maybe the Joltik and the Zorora. And honestly, I like all of them, though. They're pretty decent IRs all the way around. But those are kind of the bigger ones, and I like Lydian a lot as well. And then you go down here to the SIRs and smaller set, like I said. The Terrapagos and the Joltik, and I actually really like the Dash button a lot. But the Terrapagos, if you guys haven't watched the anime, watch the anime. Uh, you guys can uh, get a lot of comments saying, nobody cares about Terrapagos. Um these new Pokemon suck, or, you know, whatever, it, which is, which is, you know, if you don't like it, that's totally fine, I don't blame you for not liking it, it's not as good as the earlier gen Pokemon, in my opinion, but what you guys have to consider, there's two things here, first off is that the kids that are growing up now, that will have nostalgia for this, are the kids now, and I'll tell you what, what really changed my perspective is just recently, a few months ago, I spent some time with my nephew and we opened up some Pokemon cards and I was really trying to get inside of his mind. The kids are going to have nostalgia for these cards, these sets, these Pokemon. This is what they're growing up with. This is their Gen 1 or their Gen 2 or their Gen 3 whenever you grew up with whatever cards you like and Pokemon you like. That's going to be a thing. It already is a thing. That's what we have to understand. So first off, um, keep that in mind. Okay. So Stellar Crown, I think it looks pretty decent. I don't think it looks like it's not going to be the best Scarlet and Violet set. No. But I think it looks pretty good, if I'm being completely honest. That's just my opinion, though. If you want to skip it, skip it. But we'll go over to Surging real quick. So this is what we know about Surging, right? We got the booster boxes, the packs, uh, the pack art. We got the promo card, the Magneton promo card. Looking great. Love it. Love the artist. Uh, great looking card. Like, everything's looking good, right? But what, what are the cards? What, what do we actually know? This is what we actually know. We know the Latios and Latias, the Execute and the Executor cards right here. This is pretty much mostly what we know. We do know that this is going to be a big set. And I like these cards. I like all of these cards. I think they're great cards. But we haven't seen the whole set. And I can understand. What I Like in my past video, I said, Searching Sparks has huge potential. Because if this is what we've already seen, and there's Pikachu coming, could be great, could be amazing, but we don't know yet. So what I wanted to talk about is that mindset of skipping Stellar Crown for Surging before we even know. Surging isn't coming out for a while, not till November. So you have plenty of time. You don't have to, you should be able to pre-order, you don't have to pre-order in August, right? You'll have time to pre-order Surging let the set get revealed is all kind of what I'm getting at. And we're going to talk about why I think that Stellar Crown might be maybe a better choice than you guys think for a few reasons. And we're, we're, I'm getting to all of that. I'm just kind of building up to it. But real quick, I just wanted to take another look at Stellar Crown booster boxes. They're selling really well on TCG Player. You can see the sales right here. Um, total sold in last month, 733. If you guys, for reference, you can go compare that to other sets. You'll see that that's selling really well. The new sets always sell well, right? Those pre-orders, right? So that's not really a surprise, uh, but it looks like people are going to want this, okay? Um, so if you want to 
pre-order Stellar Crown. You don't have to pay TCG player prices. You can get boxes. This is Forge and Fire. There's other there's other places you can get them. TikTok deals, right? Other other places, but 98 a box if you want to pick up a case. 570 a case from Forge and Fire. So, where I'm going with all this. Uh, we're going to just touch on a few things here. First, I just want to bring back... This is a point I talked about in the Stellar Crown video. Is... And anybody... I'm going to be honest. If people tell you that they saw... They thought that Twilight was going to be as good as it's doing. That the Greninja is going to be at the price it's at. And that the boxes are going to be at the price they're at already. They'd be lying. Okay? It was pretty much... Nobody liked Twilight. Nobody. Uh, not nobody. You know what I mean. Some people obviously liked it. But what you do see... And honestly, I think most people didn't like Shrouded. But I'll tell you what. Even though the cards aren't doing very good for Shrouded, people are buying it and opening it like crazy. I just went to a card show. People were carrying around Shrouded ETBs. Um, I mean, look, anyway, it's the, ki the kids. You got to understand that the kids are a big part of the market. Okay, and they're gonna chase what they're gonna chase. They're gonna open what they're gonna open, and they're gonna like what they're gonna like. And usually, it's the newest stuff. Okay, the kids, you know, they don't care. They don't, they don't look at it like, oh, is this gonna do good in five to ten years or whatever. They just want to open. They want to see the newest, shiniest Pokemon, and that's all they care about. So, my point with this is, I don't think that anybody would be a fool to say that Surging Sparks is looking like it could be great, but we don't know yet. And I think, could you imagine a world in which a lot of people overlooked, they skipped Stellar Crown? Maybe the demand isn't quite as high because some people were skipping it. Maybe it doesn't get a reprint. Maybe it's not as highly printed. Maybe the boxes end up being hard to come by. I mean, could it? Could Stellar Crown be doing well in a few years. I just wanted to say that there is a possibility and I have kind of, I've talked about this in the past, that I've kind of changed my investing uh, approach and I used to be a bit more picky, which I think is, it, it can be good and it has its place, but with every set coming out, I'm just, I'm getting these, I'm getting my cases or my boxes, whatever it may be, immediately and I'm not risking I'm not risking missing out so and that and that is mainly because of Twilight it's changed the market people are pre-ordering a lot more now right and it is the Scarlet and Violet era is kind of hit it a turning point with Twilight and the demand for these cards I think people really underestimate how many people are in this hobby how many people are collecting how many people will just buy and open whatever pokemon throws their way so you don't have to like the sets to have good investments in them or to you don't even have to like pokemon to you know get get these boxes that are going to go up in value and once you once you determine like, once we see, obviously, that Surging Sparks, you know, is, if it is what everyone hopes it is, um, then, you know, and then it makes more sense. You go, uh, I'm not saying it's going to be Evolving Skies or anything like that, but um, using that as an example, if once you can identify that, oh, this might be, you know, this is the set of the SV era, or if that's Team Rocket, then you want to load up on it. But what can happen, I just, what can happen is... Some of the sets, maybe if it's short printed, if it doesn't get a reprint, if Surging Sparks has high, 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 high demand, which it seems like it will, and Stellar Crown gets overlooked, those Stellar Crown boxes could be more rare. That is my whole point for this video, is just to think about the whole the whole market and what can happen. It's not uh, it's not to scare anybody. It's not to make you FOMO and go out and buy load up on stellar crown now while you can i'm not saying that i'm just saying to think about all the possibilities and to not um get too excited or over hyping a set before we've even seen the cards and i'm with you guys i want 
surging sparks to be amazing. I want it to be what it could be. I want to see that potential. And, but you just got to be a little bit more logical. If you want, if you want to be successful with sealed investing, you have to take your emotions out of it and you have to look at it logically. Logically, if you're doing that, you shouldn't really be pre-ordering surging sparks at all yet. You should wait because you're going to have time to pre-order. Okay. We're in August. It comes out in November. You'll have time to get your pre-orders in. Just wait and see what the set has for it. That doesn't, and I, I understand too. It also is important to note that I fully understand that not everybody has the money to invest in every single set. And there's nothing wrong with that. Invest or collect exactly how you want to with what you can afford. So that is, that is important. I'm not, I, I get that, you know, not everybody can do every set. So if, if you, if you have limited money and you're only doing, you know, a box or two or whatever, small amount, you know, I, that from that aspect, I understand you might want to bet on the surging sparks more totally understandable. It's just a different side of, of collecting and investing that just as important. So to summarize, I don't think anybody should sleep on Stellar Crown. I really don't. And I don't also don't think that people should underestimate the kids in the hobby now because they are abundant and let's be real. They are the future of the hobby because as we get older, you know, uh, they're eventually they're going to come into all of the money. They're going to get old enough where they have most of the spending power and they're going to be looking for that nostalgia the same way we're looking for the nostalgia now, right? I love base set. I love all the originals. That's where my heart's at, but you just got to, if you want to be ahead of the market, just something to think about. So that I think is going to do it for this one, guys. If you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content. So do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know if you agree or disagree uh, with kind of my take with what I was saying on stellar versus surging. Um, I don't, it doesn't, I, I kind of think it doesn't have to be a competition. You just do both, but um, that's just me. So um, also, if if you're here and you haven't joined the Discord, uh, there's a link in the description to join the Discord. We're getting uh, starting to grow a little bit now, which is nice. And uh, it's a great community. We're staying up to date on what deals are, like the 151 booster bundles are coming back into stock. People are uh, letting people know what's available and all that. So like you can say up to the minute information on when these products are coming back into stock. We have like, there's a grading section we just added. People are asking about grading questions. So it's growing into a little bit of a community. So if you guys want to join, um, the link is in the description. So you guys can check that out. So yeah, there's general chat deals, grading, um, buy, sell trade. If you guys want to, um, buy, sell or trade and not have to pay like eBay fees. So, um, we got that all set up there. So yeah, that is going to do it for this one, guys. I will get, catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.